Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you. At the new 2019 Ram 1500 Second Auto Show outing, we sat down with Ram brand boss Jim Morrison to talk about how he thinks his new baby stacks up against its freshly introduced competition. Now that you've really had a chance to check out the new Silverado, are you refocusing your marketing message at all? We have continued to reinforce some of our unique selling propositions, Rambox for example. We launched that idea, it's accessible from the outside versus having to climb in, the fact that you can actually use the Ram box when the bed is full of stuff, etc. How can we expect your Hemi 8 speed with 48 volt mild hybridization to stack up against GM 7 cylinder shutoff slash 10 speed automatic combo in the fuel economy race? We still have cylinder deactivation technology that takes it down to 4 cylinders, but we're taking it to the next level. We've got active noise cancellation in the trucks to help us go deeper into the 4 cylinder phase and a new frame shaker to counter vibrations. These new technologies allow us to enhance our existing cylinder deactivation technology to continue to drive efficiency gains. We're expecting somewhere in the 10% fuel economy improvement with the eat to work technology. Why is eat to work mild hybridization optional on the V8, when it's standard on the V6? You know, the V8 is kind of our proven powertrain, our volume runner, and some of our customers don't want us to mess with it. They want a straight up V8. I think we'll see the eat to work technology grow over time and maybe someday be standard. But I think it's best to offer the choice now. How about versus the closest EcoBoost price competitor from Ford, now with port, direct injection and a 10 speed? We've got a really nice sweet spot with our power and efficiency of our V8S and now even more efficiency and more power with our V6S as well. What our customers really like about our powertrains today is that not only are they very proven and reliable, but they also provide a great balance of power and efficiency. And when you work the engines hard with the load or with the trailer, you're not exponentially decreasing their efficiency as happens with some other technologies. When you're always working a turbo where you put five guys in the cab or a thousand pounds in the bed, our trucks are happy to work. Echo Diesel blazed the light duty diesel trail, and now you're about to have competition from both Ford and Chevy. How will Rams Eco Diesel stack up against this new competition? No comment. I know you're not quite ready to divulge specs on the Echo Diesel, but as Ford and Chevy ready light diesels of their own, what do you perceive to be the most important customer attribute in this diesel market? EPA ratings. Tow, haul capacities. Overall operating costs? Overall operating costs, power and durability, sometimes in different order depending on the duty cycle. But I would say that the majority of our diesel customers say operating costs or fuel efficiency is top of mind. I've had a million conversations with guys who'll say I just got 700 miles from the tank or I got 12 to 30 miles per gallon on my road trip. Chevy now offers a power tailgate. Will that become a feature Ford and Rem need to replicate, by patent rights too? You know, I've been driving these trucks home and this is nice, indicates tailgate power release button on overhead console. We do it on the key fob too. Power up technology is new, and that's great, but when I'm walking up with a bag of grain and lower the gate and throw the grain in, then my arms are empty. Ford and Chevy are apparently reluctant to copy Rem's good idea about coil or air sprung rear suspension. Can you imagine ever copying Ford's aluminum body construction technology? Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you.